are the rumors of Michael Penix going to the Atlanta Falcons heating up? Previously, I had a video where I talked about the fit of Michael Penix and the Atlanta Falcons, how they sent a barrage of people out there to see him work out for a private workout. There's a lot of people from the Atlanta Falcons organizations at his pro day. And for that private workout, we had Terry Fontenot and Raheem Morris. So it was a pretty, 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 pretty big deal. Now, going forward, obviously a lot of people are saying he's the pick, but just recently they released that Michael Penix is going on a top 30 visit to Flower Branch to the Atlanta Falcons facility, which further means that the Atlanta Falcons are definitely interested in this guy. Now, a lot of people are putting weight, and a lot of people aren't putting weight to the top 30 visits. I personally believe they mean something. These are the guys they're generally interested in. They want to learn more about. They want to see how they operate. They want to see how they feel within the system. And majority of the first two round picks from the Atlanta Falcons organization took a top 30 visit to the squad. So a lot of people are saying there's nothing to do with it. There's no weight to top 30 visits. I'm not a believer in that. I think they have something to do. Now in regards to Michael Penix, this is the third kind of interaction that he's had with the Atlanta Falcons organization. I think I'm a big believer. Terry Fontenot is probably going to go with the best option on the board. Now, I personally made a video earlier saying, hey, it may not be the year to go with that route. It might be the year to go with need. But if we know one thing about Terry Fontenot, he will go outside the status quo and he will draft players who he thinks is the best position for that pick. Now, do I think the Atlanta Falcons need to trade back from the eighth pick and get some overall depth overall with the organization? Yes. Do I think they need to get an additional pick for that first round pick move back? Yes. Will that happen? Who knows? But there is one thing that keeps popping up, and that's Michael Penix, and that's the eighth round pick. Eighth pick. First round pick. Now, will I say it's a bad option? No. I'm a big believer in Michael Penix, and I think he could be the future of the Atlanta Falcons if they pick him up. I'm just not a fan at it at number eight, but who who knows? Who knows? Now, him taking that top 30 visit, a lot of people are saying this pretty much solidifies him as being the Atlanta Falcons' eighth pick overall. Not a big believer in that. I think he's a phenomenal quarterback. I think this is the guy that fits the system post Kirk. Cousins, I think because of we that we have Kirk Cousins, we don't need to just rush him out there and we can really take our time and evaluate him, which is why I think we've had three interactions with Michael Penix. I think he's the solution going forward, but it just depends on the price for him and how early we would have to pick him. And people are saying it has to be in the top 13, which I think is crazy. But who knows. Now, if you want to see more videos like this, first, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And if you want to see more content, check this video out right here. And like always, peace.